There will be a significant police presence in Wellington ahead of anti-government protests planned for Parliament today. Hundreds of people are expected to take part in the protest led by Brian Tamaki. It comes just six months after a 23-day occupation of Parliament's grounds that came to a fiery end. Wellington District Commander Superintendent Corrie Parnell is with us this morning. Superintendent, good morning. Do you know where the morning, protesters are at the moment? So they're dispersed across the Wellington District at the present moment and uh, overnight our indications from our teams that have been on the ground uh, looking at a potential protest audience of under a thousand at this stage. How many police officers have you got in the capital this morning? I've got a full complement of my own resources. So, uh, additionally, we've brought in resources from around the country. We've had uh, a lot of opportunity to plan for this uh, protest and um, a number of resources available should we need to escalate. Just to give us an idea, because obviously you said there's about a thousand of them, how many of you? Well, I won't go into the operational detail there, but I'm um, really confident in terms of uh, our resources to deal with. The what protest activity today. Yeah, fair enough. What about your equipment? Have you got your riot gear ready, similar to what you had on hand last time? Yeah, I think it's uh, important to note the context of today, uh, unlike what we observed in February, March, which quite frankly was unprecedented. Uh, we've had uh, time to plan uh, since then. Uh, we've got our full uh, suite of what we would need to do our job today. And, uh, that's available. Yeah, I can understand you're not wanting to get too far into the detail. Have you got tow trucks and tow truck drivers in case they park their cars on the roads? Yeah, so it's important to note, and the public would have seen this time, we've taken the step of putting in place a traffic management plan. Uh, that's a balanced stack, and it's uh, been in place since Sunday uh, evening. We've also got uh, tow capability uh, available to us today. There will be a presence of parking wardens around the city. Uh, my main message to uh, protesters today, uh, who we have been engaged with and messaged, is to uh, plan ahead uh, with your timings and your parking arrangements uh, well in advance. Are you guys calling or texting Brian Tamaki? What are you talking about? Uh, so we've had face-to-face uh, -face meetings with uh, the uh, various uh, protest groups today, particularly the Freedom Rights and Coalition. That, have you met with Brian Tamaki in the last couple of days? Uh, so we've met with his, his uh, key organisers and group over the last couple of days. And have they, what have they told you? They're all going to be quite chilled? Yeah, so we're getting um, you know, really optimistic and positive conversation. Their intentions is to indeed go about uh, their protest today uh, lawfully uh, and peacefully. Uh, they've indicated the times of that. There will be some disruption from Civic Square through to the intention to march to Parliament grounds. Uh, police will uh, be out there highly visible uh, to facilitate that movement uh, with the least amount of disruption to the Wellington Park. Have you received any intelligence that there are dangerous people coming to the protest or people who might have weapons? So our role is to monitor the whole landscape and we've done that uh, indeed since February uh, and we'll continue to do that public has to have confidence that we're well planned to deal with anything that may eventuate today. Yeah. For the people in Wellington this morning, though, who are going about their business, who are wanting to know whether they should go walk down the street to get lunch today, are you aware sure. of any dangerous people coming who might have weapons? Are you aware of any? Not in my current intelligence landscape, um, but the public need to be reassured they will see a high visibility presence of us, uh, good communications with the schools. Public transport will uh, still run uninterrupted today. That is my expectation. And um, uh, public would encourage them to stay away from the parliamentary grounds unless they're part of the protest. Uh, but other than that, um, please be reassured that we will be out there highly visible today to keep everyone safe. Yes. Not only the protest group, um, but the public and indeed uh, our own staff. Yeah, fair enough too. You've said that disruptive um, protesters won't be tolerated. What does that mean? If you start blocking a street, you'll be arrested? Where's the line in the sand yes, for you guys? So, well, without question, you know, we're, we're well planned and we've well communicated uh, to protest groups, uh, as has the Speaker of the House in terms of parliamentary grounds. We know tolerance for structures um, in terms of illegal parking and they can expect um, affirmative action to be taken. And have you asked 
uh, Trevor, whether he's put his speakers away and his sprinklers away this time? Well, we've had good communications again with uh, parliamentary security uh, and the speaker, and I'm very confident in terms of our planning for today. That's good. Um, yeah, uh, hopefully things are just smooth and calm for you guys and you can get on and uh, it'll all be over by, what, 2 o'clock? Is that what you're expecting? Uh, our anticipation is, and in, as indicated by the protesters, they'll start to disperse uh, around 2 o'clock. Um, just ask the public to um, bear with us there just while we get the disbursement of those attending today. Fair enough. Just before you go, I know that last time, you, you don't want a repeat of last time, but we're about to speak to the backbencher pub and they're a bit worried that you might have gone overkill closing the streets in front of their business, meaning that it'll affect their trade today. What's your message? Yes, and, you know, that wasn't a decision made lightly. There's always a balance in there. Um, primarily today, uh, what we've learned from... February is that uh, we need to ensure the safety of all, uh, not only my staff, but more importantly, the public, uh, hence that um, action today. There will be a moment in time, and um, I'm confident and optimistic that uh, things will disperse, but uh, yeah, I do acknowledge that there will be some disruption to those businesses. All right, best of luck for today. Wellington District Commander, Superintendent Corrie Parnell with us.